solo rust. Where only the strongest and most geared players do survive. What a shot that was, Jesus. Hey, come, come, come here. Not bad, have that. Oh, oh, hello. What the fuck? Okay, okay, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. What a start. What a start. Just gonna run. Just because I need to get my sleeping bag down more than anything. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck! No, you can't hit me from the air like that. I just had enough low grade. Okay, we got the TC down. Thank you. Oh, it was the cunt who was chasing me. No. Okay, goal number one then of what is day two ish of the wipe is to try and get our hands on some tools, metal ones. Maybe go to that, see if we can get a double barrel. And I would sure as hell love some scrap. There he is. Fucking great shot, kid. Pull it. Oh, why did it change from the bow? Cool. See you guys over there. Alright guys, welcome back to the new video. I'm sure I've already said that. But how are you all doing? I hope we're all doing good. Um, yeah, so not gone so stunningly so far, really. But yeah, fresh wipe. I have no blueprints. This server hasn't wiped blueprints though, so everyone else is pretty darn geared, I must say. Um, here are some of the comments that I really, really enjoyed and appreciated in the last video, guys. Thank you so much. The last couple of videos have just been received so incredibly well from you guys. Likes, comments, interaction from you guys has been incredible. So thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying a little bit more of the content that's been coming recently. And it's been coming a hell of a lot more. I, I like to think that we've been doing pretty well. So yeah, thank you for that. But yeah, let's go. Not... Had such a good go of it today. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Okay, cool. I'm gonna head home. Um, <laughs> yeah, I haven't had such a great go of it today so far, but it's not it's not going too bad now. I've just killed that guy. We need to get home. I need to do farming really, but I just can't be bothered with it. So I'm probably I'm just gonna keep this up. Just come back. See what we can grab, go back, come back, see what we can grab, go back. So it's a hard one, but it's what's got to be done. Okay, so now I have myself all of this juicy farm. I've got myself the level 1 bench up. I'm pretty damn happy with the way things have gone so far. So I think it's probably time we go out and try upgrade that loot again. There is something going down pretty much this direction. I don't know. It sounds like revolvers, I think. I think, but I, I wish I had something like a water pipe or a double barrel or anything. Or even some armor now, but I'm, I need to farm wood, but... If you guys play Rust, how are all of your wipes going this week? Are they going good? And you, I know a lot of you guys do play it. I think Rust this week, actually, if you didn't know, has had... There it is. It's this way, I think. This way. Towards the road. Um, has had a really, like, pretty big upsurge in players this month. So that's, that's pretty cool. A lot of you guys come into Rust, and I think you can see that from... Oh, it's over there now. What the hell? 
Maybe. Don't run back into that base. Oh, shit. Did he see me? He definitely saw me, right? Yep, he saw me. Of course he did. Why would you shoot at me? Like, I'm sorry. The guy with the bow. The guy with the bow. Yeah, cool. Ignore the guy that was killing you. Love it. Oh. This is an interesting one, because I actually, as you can see, used the bandage, but then I think I accidentally double-clicked it too quickly on the, to write, use my next bandage, and it, it stupid, stupid bug in Rust overrode it, so it didn't use the first one, so I died. So that was fun, right? Let me pick it up. Oh, what? I was bandaging. No, I won't have my bag. I have another bag. Oh, I'm so far away though. That's a joke. Okay, so things weren't going so well as you've seen. Things have been, It's been a hard and tricky day um, so far. So what I did, I took myself off. That's the thing with Rust, right? It, it gets very stressful. It does start to grind on every little last nerve that you do have. So I went, I had my second shower of the day. I had one before work. Obviously, I've been at work all day. Got back, jumped on rust, it's not gone well. So I had another shower, cleansed myself of the sins of today. I grabbed myself a coffee, a JD and Coke, and I thought I'd crack on. And here we go. Okay, got on everything I've got. This is all my rope. This is this is it right now. This is pretty much everything we've got. So I'm gonna hopefully try and get a kill. I know you see. You'll see a lot of other YouTubers, right? A lot of PvP gods, titans, behemoths of the game, who will run around with this sort of gear and get loads of stuff. If you've been around the Tills channel for a while, you know, you know, um, your boy's a role player. So it's got two chances here. Either, either it's go, it goes really well. The crossbow I've been pretty reliable with recently, but my my chances are minimal. And by the way, guys, this is this is an open question to you. Do you prefer the videos which are edited for more action based? Or do you prefer hearing me talk to you? Because I have literally, it's literally a 50-50 split of people saying they prefer hearing me talking you through my sort of ideology of how I play the game and what I do on Wipe Day, what I do day two, day three, whatever. Um, so people learn a little bit from me. A lot of people just enjoy seeing sort of PvP montages or the sort of the raiding montages, whatever. Please do let me know down below. I should really run a poll on the channel. Maybe I'll do that sometime this week if I remember. I'll probably forget. Somebody remind me. There's a shop here to my left, but it's awful. Does not sell anything too great. God, I don't want to lose this crossy straight away. Why am I going to a gunfight with arrows, man? This is my problem, right? This is why I lose my gear. Because I try to take on geared, like two geared players. Ah, oh, yeah, he is. How did he know? Like, I'm sorry, how did he know? The only way I was ever going to win a fight there... <sighs> ...was to land the first shot, and now I'm dead, I've lost my gear. Crying out loud, man. Dude, let's talk about this. Uh, you was camping me, right? No, I literally just walked up. I promise. Oh, okay, I'll... Dude, okay. the... You sure? Nah, no, dude. Oh, you're. A, if you're not gonna kill me, dude, you're an absolute legend. What? Oh, dude, please. Thank you, buddy. You're an absolute legend. He had a big ass base. Fucking hell. All right, we do not want to be around here then. Yeah, we got a lucky escape. Okay, <laughs> we got a very lucky escape. That does not happen every day of the week. In terms of raid that base behind me today, I might do that. I might just do it with like machetes or something. Just really dead quick, just see if we can get through. If he's only got the one wood door, golden, I assume he's not. I assume he's probably got more than that, but we'll see. That's the issue with joining a server that hasn't wiped blueprints, guys. If you, a lot of you guys always say, um, basically, what? how do you choose a fresh wipe server? How do you do this? How do you do that? Always read the description, because if the server hasn't wiped blueprints, and it's a busy high pop server, you probably don't want to be joining it, because if you are relatively new to the game, or don't really have the tactical acumen of the rust, it's probably not worth it because everybody will be running around with semi-rifles. Everyone will have tools, everyone will be have bigger bases than you, that's just how it is. So probably try to look at the description and choose a freshly wiped BP wipe server. Yeah, very geared man. 
Take that tree down right there. Ah, what the fuck? That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Let's go. Both tools and the revolver. Just what we needed. Right, that's all it takes, guys. That's all it takes. I don't know how he saw me through that bush, though. GG to him. What a man. And I'm dead. Oh my god. Almost fucked it. I panic so hard because I just do not want to lose this loot. Especially to someone where they're like... The risk and reward for him was so minor, but the risk and reward for me was huge. Okay, so, right now, I have taken a little break. I am back, ready and raring to go. And what I think is probably best is if I cook some food up and get some frickin' health back on. And then we go and try and just do a little wood door raid just here. It doesn't have to be anything major and I'm not expecting any loot. And to be honest, I'm expecting a metal door behind it. But if not, if say it's another wood door, or say even by chance it's just a one wood door to the main core of the base, we're golden. We're absolutely laughing, lads. And you know, you know how I love a good wood door raid and a good early game raid. So we'll, we'll give this a go. But I am pretty much flat out of wood now. So the benefit of it being so damn close to my own base means that I should be able to just nip back in and out again every time. Now this guy, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm thinking if I don't raid him, he's going to raid me, so why not, eh? And it's already decaying by the looks of things, so... Is the stone decaying? No, he's just not got enough wood in his TC, so we're going to get through this even quicker than I thought, so it's a good thing we crafted plenty of uh, machetes. I think I'm just about going to have enough here with these two. So what we say, guys, please leave a comment. Don't skip ahead literally 20 seconds, 10 seconds, but what do we think? Metal door, another wood door, or nothing? What do we think? Coming at ya. Um. And sweet Fanny Adams. There's not even a TC in here. This has already been raided, hasn't it? Well, you can't win them all, I guess, right? I wonder what this key unlocks. Literally nothing. God, I would have had this base, you know? If I'd done this earlier, before I had my level 1, I might even come back and steal these boxes. That's how fucking sad I am right now. And that's all she wrote, guys. Well, all she, he, me. That's all me wrote, guys. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. I tried, I tried to make this one a little bit different to a normal wipe day one. I know we've had quite a few wipe days, and you've probably seen a lot of wipe days from other Rust YouTubers, because it's, it's hard to differentiate. So I hope you've enjoyed today. I've tried to keep it nice and action-packed. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to leave a comment, as always. Remember, you will get featured in the next one if it's a juicy one. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Tills. If you are interested in seeing some more videos like this one, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will catch you in the next one, which will hopefully be in a couple of days' time. But that being said, your boy's going out tonight. He's going to get pretty darn drunken. Christian channel. Don't tell my mom. You know how it is. So after that, maybe there'll be a video tomorrow. Maybe there'll be a video the next day. Who freaking knows? So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been Tills. Peace out. In the stillness somewhere above, the city